Okay, what is a logarithm? Okay, a logarithm, first off, is uh, to understand a logarithm, we have to understand an exponential function. So here we have g at x equals b to the x power. So this could be anything. This could be, um, here's another an example. Maybe it would be 2 to the x power. Or um, k at x equals 5 to the x power. Or, you know, some number to the x power. And when you graph that, you end up with a function somewhat like this on the left here. So, um, and this, again, this assumes that this assumes that uh, b the base is a positive number greater than one, and it's anyway. Um, so that's generally what it would look like without a scale, and it's a one-to-one -one function, so that it has an inverse. So let's find that inverse. Well, the first step in that process is to convert the g at x or the function notation to a simple y. So y or your output or y-axis equals b to the x-axis, b to the x power. And so then you would flip-flop your x and your y around. So you change these to invert it. So x equals b to the y. So if we solve that um, for y, we would end up with the inverse function. Then we could convert it back to a function. Well, the problem is, when you do that, we don't have an algebraic process to do that if you don't understand logarithms or haven't had them before. So um, y is the power of base b that produces x. So it's the power of the base that produces the value we're looking for. And so that's kind of cumbersome to say every time. And so they've we've created a, a way to represent that. Um, so y, oops, let me go back to the way it was. So x equals b to the y. And so if you want to convert that to a logarithm, let me go back quickly. Um, I think it's easier from there. So they've we've created a, a way of of saying this or showing this symbolically and so um, so you know keep in mind x equals b to the y is what we're trying to invert so y would equal logarithm the logarithm of your base uh, to the to the x so log base b of x is basically how you'd say that. And so that's how you convert that. So now we have a basically a way to convert it every time. And let me restate it here. So one way that I that I remember it and make sure that it's right, and this is almost the way I have to do it in my mind every time, is you know it's log of your base of your exponent log always produces the exponent so your base to the exponent is equal to x so if you had log base 10 of 1000 and we wanted to know what that was we don't know what that is right now so to figure that out we know that 10 to the x power is equal 1000 so 10 to the x power is equal to 1,000. Well, we know 10 to the third power is 1,000. So we know log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. And what I've shown you is the common logarithm. Uh, a common logarithm is log of base 10 log base 10 of some value. So, and we don't, it happens, you know, we're a base 10 number system, so we just, whenever you see log x, that's really, they're putting a 10 there. Just like when you see square root, there's really a 2 there. But it occurs so often we don't, you know, that's, that's the, the common one. 
And so it goes, that goes the same with logarithms. So if I just did log of, you know, 10, you know, maybe I better, we better change that. Maybe we want to go log of 10,000, okay? If you typed in log 10,000 in your calculator, it's going to produce 4 because, let's sneak this in here, log base 10, so 10 to the x equals 10,000. Well, the only thing that 10 to the any power, the only power that that works is the fourth power. Okay. Okay, so the first step in understanding logarithms is just to be able to convert them back and forth between an exponent, an exponential equation, and a logarithmic equation. So let me just give you uh, some examples and you just try to convert them into an exponent. So here's a logarithm. So 3 equals log base 2 of 8. And maybe we want another one. Log uh, base e of x equals 4. Okay. So Go ahead and convert those to exponents and see if you get it right. So pause the video, give it a shot, and then come back and see if you, you've got the logarithm to exponent figured out. Okay, now that you're back, so on this particular problem, we know 2 is your base. Logarithm always produces the exponent, so it would be 2 to the third, and it equals 8. So I kind of reversed it on you but 2 to the third equals 8. Again, that's, that's how I'm going to do it about every time. So how about this one? So over here, your base is e. So e to the fourth power equals x. And actually, that e is the Euler number, which the Euler number we'll talk about in probably in another video. It goes with the common logarithm. And actually, log base e is the common logarithm. Log base e of x could be written as, rewritten as the natural log of x. So uh, there's a little bit of uh, foresight in what we're going to do next. And so now, convert some ex common exponents. So let's say you had, um, I don't know, 5 to the second equals 25. Convert that exponential to a logarithm, and then let me give you another one. Um, so let's say we had uh, um, 2 to the 4th equals 16. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can convert those to logarithms. Okay, now that you're back, hopefully, that would be log base 5, 25, equals your exponent of 2. And then I always check my answer mentally. This is what I'm doing to make sure I'm right. 5 to the second equals 25. I, it's just the way I learned it, so it's the way I, I do it forever this way. This one on this side, um, so your log, your base, um, 16. And logarithm always produces the exponent because the, it's the inverse of the exponential equation. And there you have it. So 2 to the 4th equals 16. So we know we're right. And so there's the basics of logarithm. So if you can do that, that's kind of the first step, the baby steps in understanding a logarithm. Good luck. Hope this helps. Uh, the next video, I'll take you to the next level. See you next time.